You know, we have the experts here. Why don't we ask them questions? I don't feel they're working hard enough. I'm just joking. <laughs> But we have audience members come in every day and they want access to you. So we've got questions for both uh, L.A. and Christian from our lovely audience today. I'm loving the audience today because you're so, like, wild. It's so good. Okay, so, so I'm going to start color. with Deborah. Deborah, what would you like to ask? I'm thinking of adding an accent wall somewhere in my home, but I'm just wondering what things I need to consider before I pick a color and, and where. Love the question. What do you think, experts? Well, it's such a good question. Well, yeah, <laughs> <You're> <laughs> just, I'm, I'm hopping right in because I, I do have some thoughts. Uh, I don't hate the idea of an accent wall. I do hate when people just try to use an accent wall to make that the accent. The point of an accent wall is to actually accentuate something that already is beautiful and noteworthy in your home, such as a fireplace, uh, if you want to really anchor a headboard wall. So really think about what you are accenting. And the color itself, or whatever finish you put on, I also personally don't feel like that needs to be the main character in the space. It's simply a way of drawing focus too. So making sure if it is, again, fireplace for example, that it is beautiful, it has some character, maybe you wanna add a couple of character features to that fixture element, and then introduce maybe a different color that further draws the attention to it. But I, I, I don't know what your thoughts are. I'm not a big fan of going like, red accent wool just because I had an extra can of paint kicking around and we'll, we'll use it up like that's not so my jam. I am not team accent wall <laughs> especially when it comes to paint if you love blue please paint your whole room blue please I do not need to walk in to see one blue wall in your house it looks weird I do understand that desire if you want to to do some sort of beadboard wall or shiplap wall yeah. if we're still living in that sort of Modern farmhouse, and even though people think I dislike it, I think it works sure in a lot of houses. Sure does sound like you do. It's not. It doesn't work in my house, but literally there are. I walk into clients' houses. I'm like, yeah, this is modern farmhouse. It works. I just don't think it should be in everybody's house. Right. right. So yeah, I think if you're picking like adding a wood element or something else to an accent wall when it's already a feature wall, i.e., behind your bed or a fireplace, it works well. Um, I'm assuming it's an existing wall, and you're not going to build a wall. She can't talk anymore. <laughs> she's, she's not even sure what wall. She just wants to have a accent wall. And Christian touched on a really great point that it's, it's not just about color. Think about texture. Like if you if there's a wallpaper that you find and you fall in love with it and maybe it's really expensive, you can't afford to wrap an entire room, make it Leanne purposeful. Leanne can come paint a mural for you. <laughs> I feel not like we've all learned that she came to the wrong place for the accent wall. <laughs> hey, can I just put add one disclaimer to this talking point? Yeah. That there are no wrong choices in design. Okay. If it looks right to you and you want an accent wall, yeah, put a darn it, accent wall. You do your accent wall. Ellie, we got another question. I can get to Ellie. Ellie, what would you like to ask these two that are going to tell you not to do it? Okay. <laughs> Um, we have an old fireplace. It's your typical, like the house was built in the early 80s, and it's just a brick, kind of terracotta color yeah. fireplace, wood burning. So uh, we've wanted to update our family room in general, get rid of all the DVDs and all the old movies that were not on. We had big, you know, everywhere, and uh, maybe update the fireplace. So get a wood mantle, and I know a lot of people paint them. Mm -hmm. Maybe get a hearth at the bottom, but. Can you cover it with stone so it looks like a nice stone fireplace rather than the brick? I, I didn't yeah. know. So I think my initial reaction, Leanne, I thought I was like, sounds like a lot of work, move. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's what I probably Don't would move. do. Um, but no, you definitely could cover You could paint it. A lot of people do paint it. They do make, like, paints that deal with high heat. Yes. It's an easy thing to do. You could paint it on neutral. To be honest, I don't hate terracotta brick, but if it's not working with your space, I get it. But you literally could get basically stone veneer they make now that looks like full stone but it's not and it literally just goes on almost like tile so you literally could coat it and then you could either tile it or you could do a faux stone if that works better for you definitely i'd say updating the mantle will make a huge difference mm -hmm. um but i think it all depends on what the rest of the aesthetic of the house you want to do for sure you could do as, as long as you're using something fire rated like a concrete board you could quite literally box right around it and almost start with a blank canvas and then put that beautiful mantle if you already have i didn't get a chance to chat with you prior to but if you have for example uh, the 80s typical 80s brass grill around the front barbecue paint is a great diy solution that is meant as christian was saying for high heat you can just spray that right on so mask around your surrounding area but absolutely you can clad 
over top of it. But you know, I'm always going to advocate for paint. There is absolutely <laughs> nothing wrong. Yes, it is a design aesthetic choice for the look of painted brick. But if it's treated properly because brick is really porous, if that's something that you're looking to do, making sure that you prime first to seal the brick. Otherwise, the more paint you add on there, it'll just soak right through the brick. So use a really good high quality primer first and then you can top coat with kind of a paint finish of your choice and the nice thing is you have like an array of colors that you can pick from to really customize to fit your space. What do you I think of that? Awesome. You may even want to try the it? painting first <laughs> because, now because it's like, so inexpensive. Can you paint, do first? It? paint first is super inexpensive. Paint if you first, paint if you don't it, like you it, can cover it over. Then cover over That's it. true. And I know yes. your house very well because I grew up in it. Like I'm yes. seeing everything you're saying oh, is yeah. that 80s house. Yeah. They have all of yeah. the things, right? Yeah. Thank you for related? your answers. We might be. We might be. Thank you, Ellie and Deborah. Let's go to break. We have more coming up. Stay with us.